Today, I'm going to show you the best possible whispering PvP faction bow build. I love this build so much. This build lets me just delete players. Okay, this is, in my opinion, the best faction PvP whispering bow build. Let's get right into it. So, uh, the build is very, very simple. It's the highest, strongest possible whispering bow that you can afford. In my case, 8.4. I'm using multi-shot to push targets away, I'm using front shot to, to run away. If you want way more damage, explosive arrows is super juicy. But listen, these undead arrows, they will just absolutely eradicate and delete targets. Now, I'm using the piercing arrows because in my DPS testing, this is the passive you want to deal the most damage possible to a target. Yes, the attack speed one is good, but this one is slightly better in testing on target dummies and real players, so that's why I'm using it. Next up, I'm using a Mage Cal. Now, in the future, this will be nerfed. This will be changed to a Flame Breath, so until then, enjoy the poison damage, okay? I'm using a Hunter's Jacket because this actually gives you more damage, thanks to the Haste buff and the damage buff, than a Druidic Robe, and it also makes you tankier, which is great for PvP. I'm strictly using Demon Boots as a way to escape, because when you're low on HP, this thing makes you run super fast. I'm not using this offensively ever. We have no chase mobility. We're a faction fighting build that sits in the back lines and just hammers targets down. Next up, we have this Experts. It doesn't matter what the tier is, just any undead cape. It's got a two-minute cooldown. This, when we get focused and abandoned by our allies and we're all alone and we're getting killed... When this thing pops, we can just use our demon boots to escape. You can also bring in an invisibility potion if you don't want to rely on the cape, uh, which is great because you can pop boots and then pop your invisibility potion. I have, I have one in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll just swap that out for now, and then let me organize that. And of course, beef stew, so that I can deal more damage because damage is everything in this build. Let me show you the DPS rotation, and then we're going to go out, and we're going to beat up some real players with this build, because this build deletes people. If they are not 8.4, and at least in leather, they immediately die. Also, I got a reward. I referred somebody. Look at that. Yeah. Thousand gold. Oh, man. How much is that worth? Look at that. Thousand gold, man. Check it out. One thousand. That is worth 4.6 million. Thank you to whoever did that. Now, for those that don't know, if someone uses my referral link, which I have in the description, then they, uh, if they buy a Founders Pack, that's the thousand gold. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Very cool. Uh, perks of being a YouTuber, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the 4,000. So, let me show you the, uh, the rotation here. Before you engage on the opponent, you want to cast Haste, and you want to stare at this skill icon. As soon as the, the cooldown fills the bubble up, push your E button. But you're going to push R and your spacebar or left click at the same time on your target. And then as soon as that fills up, you're going to push E. And then as you're just auto attacking, you'll push D. So it looks like this. And there you go. That's all there is to it. It's the simplest, most brain dead, easy build. And then when this buff runs out, we no longer shoot magic arrows. And you can see I've dealt over 6,000 damage to this target. I have two escapes and a knockback that deal tremendous damage and make me hyper mobile. It's the most brain dead easiest build to play because this skill lets us shoot further than just about everything in the entire game. We can safely pelt enemies from the back line. So now that I've shown you the build, I've shown you how the rotation works, let's go find a fight. Faction fight, let's go. Uh, Falconess Hill is being a or Do we have anything on defense right now? Snapshaft, uh, it might be under attack. It's hard to tell. Uh, I don't know. Let's let us let us go fight Limhurst. They're they're a little bit more fun to fight than Barlock, to be honest. And um, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and ride out. And we're faction flagged already. Now this is a faction flag build. You can use this in like one v one PVP. You can use this in world PVP. I wouldn't use this in mists because you're gonna attack someone. They're gonna go heal up with Hellion Jacket. That's the meta right now, by the way. If you're unaware. Hellion Jacket meta in the mists. So that means when you're fighting someone, they run into like three mobs, they fully heal themselves, and then they just kill you, and it's over. And now, as far as PvE builds go, this um, this is not the best. It is, it, it's not the best for PvE because you have to wait five seconds for your armor's ability. Like, if I want to kill these mobs, I gotta wait five seconds on my armor. Yes, I could just push E and shoot them and use Q, and yeah, it looks like I killed them quickly, but there are far more efficient builds out there. Uh, for PvE purposes. The Whispering Bow is not a PvE weapon at all. 
it is pretty much just an auto attack turret. This is probably the strongest turret build in the entire game. Eh, well, maybe. I mean, it's hard to really beat curse stabs, but it's still pretty good. Now, uh, you'll notice here, this guy's PvP flag. You, you may be wondering, why am I not attacking him? Well, I'm faction flagged, and in the yellow zones, you can't PvP with a PvP flagged flare player if you are faction flagged. So, let's just... Let's go find some Limhurst people to just snipe. And I don't have to follow a blob if I don't want to. Uh, surely there's something going on here because it's at three... It's at three something stars? Are they about to cap... Yeah, there's a blob. Oh, this is perfect. I can't believe I got this lucky so fast. So I'm going to position myself behind the <laughs> Bridgewatch blob. And I'm just going to use my two abilities and just click on people and watch them die. I have plenty of ways to escape. I'm not worried at all unless I get died by the tank or something. So we're going to click on this guy. He looks nice and squishy. And uh, let's activate that E. And he is... He's in cloth. Look at his HP. He's shielded. Uh, okay, so he's a little bit far, further away. Let's fight the tank here just a bit. Now, you do have to wait on your cooldowns. But um, essentially, I'm able to shoot safely away from the front lines. And as, as you do this more often... Like, I'm just waiting on cooldowns right now. Yeah, the tank is right here. He's kind of engaging. You don't want to be where everyone else is. You want to be off to the side. We have the range to deal with it. Also, just tag players while you wait on your cooldowns, because when they eventually do that, like, here comes the engage. The tank dived in, so we don't want to be anywhere close to here. We just want to be off to the side. Let's click this bolt caster, dude. Okay, I got my cooldowns activated. Look at him. He's already dead. He's already dead. Let's click this, uh, what is this? Fire staff guy. Look at his HP. 1,900. I'm getting a little deep now. I'm going to disengage with my W. I'm silenced. There we go. And we're just going to back off. They may chase me. I've got... Well, I'm going to go in Viz here. And I can't. i got to wait on my demon boots. They're, they're pounding me, but I'm in that 8.4. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's get out of that slow. Let's demon boots, and we're safe. So I'm also invisible right now, I believe. It, now I'm invisible. Okay, so I'm invisible. This guy's following me, though. I can mount up. Maybe. Yeah, he's got 5 second cooldown, and we're safe. So there you go. And now I just wait until I regenerate. And oh, 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 let's run away from them. Oh, he's saying run. He's saying run in the comments. Like, a, yeah, of course I'm gonna run. Why would I stay and take a repair bill? Are you serious? Now I can zone here because I'm not in combat, but they're gonna turn back around. So essentially, that's all you have to do. And uh, in two more minutes, I can do that again, no problem. And I, I kind of wasted the invisibility potion there. I hate wasting the potions. Now I didn't eat my beef stew. But, like, I'm just deleting people. This build deletes people, okay? And you may be thinking, well, did I get deleted? No, I got engaged by several highly geared, organized people in a Discord, and I didn't die. And actually, I'm not even wearing 8.4. I need to upgrade my armor. I'm wearing 8.3 still, so there's room for improvement, but I, I do need to eat this beef stew. Oh, my power's flickering. Hopefully my uh, recording doesn't go out, but anyway... Let's re-engage here, and um, just because I don't have the cape, I can still flee. I don't need the invisibility. The invisibility just lets you juke. I have potions anyway, you know? it's I have a lot of flexibility here. So we got faction defense because we, we shot a peep. These guys are running away, so I don't want to dismount here because I could get uh, engaged and killed. Which, um, if you do get, like, a tank lands directly on you with all his cooldowns, and then everyone bombs that spot, you will die. That, that, you can't escape that. This build is not immune to that. Uh, but if, if a tank doesn't catch you, and there's not an entire bomb squad behind them, you're totally fine with this build. So, like I said, we're going to find the main front line of our blob, and we're just going to sit in the back and fire our arrows. Okay, there's no real build to deal with a blob. You can't solo a blob with anything in the game, okay? There's a, this is the, the closest possible way to solo a blob. So let's reposition. And there's a, there's a dead guy there. We, we got a nice bunch of heavy, you know, people here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and dismount. We're good. We got our cooldowns. We got our potion back up. Remember, we can shoot up this cliff if we can if we can click on him. We have a lot of range. Now, I am a YouTuber, so I do get targeted fairly often by the enemy just because I'm famous in this game. So that happened. But we can, is that, yeah, it, we have a bad vantage point because we're fighting uphill. But if I can just click on any red name, it is... Very easy to start... De okay, see, the tank's already engaging on me. And he's got the slow, he's hitting me with the silence. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave. I don't have to fight him. I, I could shoot him right now, but he is the tank. He's got almost 5,000 HP. He's, he's in, you know, total 5-4 gear. Is this an enemy? This is... He's following me. They want me. They, they want me hard. 
like I said, I'm, I'm very hated and very famous in this game. So if they see my name, they pry on me. They call out my name in their Discord chats. If I join the Limhurst faction Discord right now uh, and join their voice chat, they're gonna be like, "It's so bitchy, get him, get him, get him, get him!" All right, we got this. Jing this he's a plate user. I try try not to shoot the plate users. And like I said, this is a terrible angle. I can't see up the hill, so I can't shoot at them. But uh, if they engage down the hill, which they eventually will, or we'll push up the hill, I'll have plenty of opportunity to start shooting. I could also, I could just, like, weaken the tanks. Like, I deal enough damage to really hurt a tank. But I, I don't want to. I want to show you, like, here, here's a nice cloth user. He, we'll engage on him. Look at his HP. We, we got him down to, what, 800 before he had shields up. We're getting engaged by a dagger user. We can still shoot him just a little bit. But uh, we can essentially just safely play on the outskirts, wait on our cooldowns. That's how this build works. It's very lazy. Y you shoot from the very back lines. We should be the last person to die in a faction fight. As a matter of fact, I almost never die. Now, some of these guys are getting a little brave here. This is, again, a tank. They're they have a lot of tanks. This is a very organized fight. I'm getting sucked in by a tank. I'm getting engaged. I'm going to back off. And uh, I'm actually pinned against the wall, so I'm going to go south here. And, and again, the tanks want my... They want me dead. They really want me dead. So I'm playing super safe. Our blob is about their, their size, but we're not organized. We're just randoms that showed up because our homeland is being attacked. And I'm just trying to find a good pick here. Again, maybe this wasn't the best advantage. I could just dismount behind their line and start shooting their healers and stuff and then still be able to escape since all their tanks are in the front. So you don't have to fight the front lines if you don't want to. Should I fight this guy? I don't know. You can also dismount people riding on the outskirts. So I can shoot at this wolf guy, and he's already dismounted. Let's let's shoot this dude. I'm getting engaged here, so I'm gonna run. And he, yeah, see that tank's coming for me. See this dead deadling guy? He's jumping right on me. He really wants me. And here comes the silence. You see, they're 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 pummeling on me. That's fine though. I still have demon boots. I'm good. I don't have any healers or anything. They're they're still engaging on me. And look, I can go ahead and pop Demon Boots. They might purge this. That's fine. I can go and Viz here. And now I'm I'm just running through the fight. There you go. I'm gone. I'm basically gone. I can I can remount up right now. Maybe? Maybe if no one touches me. There we go. So I'm safe. So <laughs> again, I'm burning a lot of invis pods. But uh I think I might try engaging their backline because their tanks are they're just bloodthirsty for me. But if I had any other build, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I had any other build right now in this fight, I would I would be dead three, four, five times over. Because those tanks, there, there would be no escaping the tanks. Simple as. Now, I do also use this mount because it's it's not only faster. You don't have to use this mount. Just use whatever mount of the faction you are with. This is Bridgewatch's mount. So if you're in Limhurst, use their mount and so on and so forth. Now, if this build, if I was up against this build and the tank jumped on me and this build started shooting, I would be dead. I would absolutely be dead. So the counter to this build is this build, if that makes sense. And right now, our, our blob is getting pushed back pretty hard, so engaging their backline would be a terrible idea. But we might be, if we went up this cliff, which it looks like some people tried to do, uh, this guy is a tank, and he's being dismounted in the middle of our blobs. So that's not good. Let's try to get some high ground and shoot downward. That This build specializes in that because we do have an advantage. These are double sword users. These guys are pretty dangerous. I can, I can probably kill one of them. It's being nerfed in the future, though. Let's see... It's, we got two guys up here, uh, eight three sword. There's a tank there. I can actually dismount and fight this guy. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. I don't know if uh, they can catch him, but we're, we can start shooting on him. So I can show you some damage. And there we go. Just look at his health. He's gonna hellion jacket here and absorb from all three of us. And I have dealt tremendous damage to him. And I started opening on this frax guy. Looks like I did 700 damage in just a few hits. So I did my part. He ran off though, because he, again he's wearing the same thing. He's got the undead cape. Uh, invis pots so he can get away and not suffer a repair bill same as me let's see what else is going on now let's go down here and got a wounded soldier right there and we're gonna we're gonna curve around looks like the blob is pushing further down southwest on the road here now I could like I said I could attack their back line but their tanks might call Swole Benji in the back and then they all turn around and kill me and I do have my cape up so it's it's something I could do now I can approach them from behind as long as they're not mounted, and I could just snipe a, a cloth. You know, so many dead players. So let's let's kind of scout on our mount first. We got cross siege bow. Uh, looks like yeah. See, they got a tank in the back there. 
So they, they, these guys are organized. They're all in the same clan, too. They're all in the same guild. That's the most dangerous opponents. This is not a random blob pushing. This is an organized effort. And it looks like some dudes are following me on their mount now. And our blobs are split, which is not good. Let's see, what am I up against these two here? Uh, that is a healer. So if you are trying to 1v2 and there's a healer, you can forget it. This game is just way too strong with its healers. Let's see. Yeah, they're, they're just following me around. And 8-4 Axe guy. No, Coco Puff magic. I was out trialing Wailing Bow earlier. And um, <laughs> let me knock you again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Coco. Coco Puff magic. Uh, I was out testing Wailing Bow, and uh, this dude followed me around, kept knocking me down. It's it's whatever, man. It's it, that's the game. But anyway, uh, he's gonna follow me endlessly now because, like I said, I'm a famous YouTuber, so it's gonna be really hard to get anything done. But if he did not have his healer, I'm on a way on a Whispering Bow build, so I would be able to deal a lot of damage to this guy. But currently, I he, he's just gonna follow. Me. That's that's what happens when you're a YouTuber, you know. But I can rejoin my blob. They'll have to dismount him. He'll get away as he usually does, and uh, the fight will continue on. So, let's see. Where's our blob at? We uh, we got some people. They're all scattered though. This is it's not a good it's not good for me to engage, especially when I'm being uh, <laughs> followed by an eight four great axe. Okay, there's their tank. Stay away from the tanks, man. He's hovering on the edge of our blob now. I'm in the middle. I want to join the smaller blob on the side here. I don't want to get engaged because I don't really have many escapes up here. But I do have better line of sight. It looks like they've got the high ground once again, though. Uh, <laughs> again, these guys are organized. So I'm showing you, you know, a kind of a bad scenario. That, that's a tank engage. This is risky to dismount here. This is really bad. This is a kill zone. Yep, there it is. They're getting ki Oh, see, I told you. And uh, you, you gotta pick your fights. This is kind of a bigger blob than normal, but um, we can still deal a lot of damage. I just can't find any good squishy targets. That guy might be squishy, but he'll go invis before I can kill him. See, there he goes. He's going invis now. I might be able to, If he's going this way and not up the hill, I, I could catch him, but he's not. So, again, you gotta play the back lines, okay? And you may be thinking, well, this is a timid way to play. This is very, uh, you know, this is very girly because you're not actually doing much. And, uh, well, this is a losing fight for our blob. So, uh, the whole point of this build is that you can escape and not have to suffer massive repair bills, okay? Because, oh, power, my power's flickering. My power's going out. And uh, it looks like, yeah, my internet's down. So I'm probably dead. <laughs> okay, well, I have to stop the recording now so I can, um... Oh, there's warning sirens going off. I gotta seek shelter. There's a tornado. <laughs> well, uh, I'll continue filming later. If if I die and uh, and someone finds this recording, then uh, it was a fun life. All right. So before I continue this video, I just need to address something because this is like freaking me out a little bit. All right. Uh, I'm under extreme weather. Like it is pitch black outside, and um, the rain is just falling sideways which means extreme wind uh, the trees are bent over backwards and the creepiest thing of all is that i can hear rain noises from a wall in my apartment where there should be another person living there and let me explain what that means like okay so if i were if this were minecraft and i were to mine out my kitchen wall there would be someone else's apartment there which means there's no outdoors there's no source of the outside um, but I hear rain and just very heavy rain hitting that wall now, and there should not be rain hitting that wall. Uh, let me try to draw you an example if you're not understanding what I'm saying here. And uh, I don't mean to go off topic, but this is like, this is wild, okay? So I'm going to draw, like, okay, so this is my kitchen, okay? And this is where the stove is, and this is where the refrigerator is, and then in on this room... Right here is someone else's apartment where that's their stove and their fridge. And you could be like, well, my front door is like up here. And then their front door is like up here, right? There should not be rain sounds coming from this wall. Why is there rain sounds? Okay, I heard a loud crashing sound and I heard some screaming. And now there's rain sounds coming from my kitchen wall. I can't go outside and check because it's too windy. I will be blown away. <laughs> I will literally just float off into the into the sky. Uh, also, it's pitch black outside, and I cannot 
uh, see. Even with a flashlight, like I can see the rain. Just, just it's just all rain. So, and, and the thing is, like, okay, let, let's back it up a bit. Let's look at a horizontal view. Okay, so here's the horizontal view now, and uh, like, like here's the the stove and and the front door again. But you know, we're looking at the horizontal view. Okay, I'm on the first floor of a multi-floor apartment. Okay, so that means there's a person above me and a person above them, all the same. Okay, and so I don't know why. Why I can hear it. so like did something crash through the roof and then through their roof and now it's just raining through their roof? Did something crash through their front wall and it's just raining sideways into their apartment hitting my wall? I I don't it's so weird. It's so freaky, dude. Um I might not be able to make videos for a while if there's like heavy damage to the building. Um <laughs> uh yeah, so you know, when that happens they have to vacate everyone and condemn the unit. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's gonna suck. I better hurry up and make this video then. Right now, uh, nothing, there's nothing on the radar. Like, I'm checking all these websites. I don't have a phone to alert me to these things, so I'm just checking, like, every weather website right now. Trying to determine if, uh, I don't have anywhere to, like, seek shelter. I don't have a basement. There's no, like, little area where I can just go and hang out. It's complete darkness. I wouldn't be able to drive in this. I wouldn't be able to walk or run in this either. It's just, like, like I said, I'd be blown away. So I have to sit here, and uh, if I if the walls start crumbling, I'm just gonna run to a closet, I guess, and get crushed. That's uh, it's just how it is, you know. Had a good life, but uh, at least I can get this video done before that happens. Okay, so I really wanted to like finish this video, but um, it's really hard to find any kind of warring blobs at the moment. I might try to pick off someone after they capture this outpost and they cross over to here, and just kill any stragglers. But I do have something I can show you instead. Uh, if you go to my channel and you search Whispering into the search bar, you'll see this 8.4 Whispering Bow Journey. You can see the power of this bow in PvP fights uh, without maximum spec. I also have a few other videos on, on, the, on the subject, but let's see if I can at least kill a few people. and Because uh, <laughs> uh, they're going to start crossing over about this way. and uh, Or they might go defend number four, but... Let's see, they might go around this, yeah, they're going around, so I just want to shoot any stragglers, maybe someone might dismount on me, and if there's just a few people like that guy's dismounting on me, what is he, he's a <laughs> tier 4, It'll, come on, somebody, somebody dismount on me, I can go, I can go check the outpost too, I don't think they all leave, sometimes people stay behind and they just kind of AFK, and that would make a great damage sponge, like this guy, oh, that's, that's, the, well, no, he's, He's he's just a flat four four one plate armor dude. That's a horrible person. That's a new player. Well, we have to punish him. So uh, he's he's out here fame farming. So uh, yeah, we'll just take him down real quick. Look at his health. And he's you know he's a tanky boy, but <laughs> four HP. I'm gonna let him live. I'm gonna let him three HP. I'm gonna let him live because he's a new player. But. Um, <laughs> Let's, let's, oh, come on. Yeah, let's find someone with a little bit more HP instead. Um, can this guard go away? Thank you. <laughs> so I peeked outside, and I, I thought I'd check on my neighbors and see how they're doing, and they're all gone. Like, the entire apartment complex is vacated. Really? This guy is just running straight towards me. I don't know what to make of that. I don't, I don't know if I should, I don't, you know, I wanted to give him mercy. I honestly did. But, not anymore. Oh, he's gonna get a- he's in plate, and he's- see, he, he did what he's supposed to do. He's in plate, and he's got the ox, and he made it. He survived. Okay! Ooh, what's this? <laughs> I don't have my ability up, but, uh, oh, I could smoke him easy. That's an easy build to kill. We have a bridge watch blob, and we have the Limhurst mob, so we might be able to finish this damn video before I get blown away from a tornado, or collapsing buildings, or before, like, the police and fire people come and tell me the building's condemned. Um, because <laughs> I'm the only one left. Everyone, every single person is vacated. I don't own a phone, so I don't know if they got, like, an order from, from somebody. They, like, called them and told them to leave, but it's really creepy because I'm the only one here. There's no cars except mine. That is so freaky, dude. I gotta finish the video. Man, I'm just, I'm just autismal, man. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Albion Online's gonna kill me, I swear. <laughs>
and I'm not making this up for like to be entertaining or anything. I'm lit. It's real. It's really happening. So this this build is all right to engage um, small scale PvP. Like there's at least twenty people on point number five up here, and I could maybe snipe a clothy, maybe. And uh, but they have a lot of tanks, man. They, everyone is there's so many tanks now today. I don't know what's going. On. It's like I decided to record, and I'm only fighting plate and tank opponents. And I I know fighting that four one tank player made my build look absolutely weak sauce, but Dude, it's plate. Plate is supposed to be tanky. Why is this guy chopping tree? That's bait. He's he's gonna he's gonna engage. There's too many people here. They're all they're also from Arch. I could kill him and I could kill that person, uh, but I can't kill them with the guards up. So that's troublesome. But this person wants to tango. It looks like he's trying to. Oh, they, they got three now. Okay, he wants to fight. I'm I canceled my E spell. That's real bad. So I'm just gonna leave. I, I I can tank this maybe. Just leave. Just bait him away. I don't have to fight this guy. <laughs> I can just walk away. And if his friends all follow, like I could I could just demon boots now and be fine. Or I can just kite him around. <laughs> this build is very elusive. I can totally make it to the south exit, no probs. And see you later. <laughs> He'll eventually give up, maybe. I could also try for health regeneration, you know, just stay out of combat and then re-engage. Because it's one healer, there's the f the flat four bow of Badon, which is an easy target. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, they won't be able to catch me. I have demon boots. I mean, what are they going to do, right? I just do this and I'm gone. <laughs> I can also knock them back with my Q, which I'm not doing because it puts me in combat. But see, my health is slowly coming back. And I could, I could turn around and start shooting this guy. He's not that strong. He does have a healer behind him. I, w I would want to kill the healer. Or the Boa Badon person. Does this gonna... Per see, most people won't dismount to save you. Are they... They're still following me. It would be funny if his teammates aren't really with him. I'm gonna turn around and engage now. Well, he's just... He does do no damage to me. I'm not afraid of this guy. But I will kill this bow user. So I can just auto him, and he's dead. So there you go. That's one down. And now I can kill your healer. <laughs> Look how much damage I'm doing. He had to shield. And like I said, I can just run from these people. They can't catch me. So, <laughs> kind of, I know this is kind of a boring fight. It's whatever. But, um, <laughs> yeah, once you know the game, you can you can totally do these engages. If I had a Hellion jacket, I could just heal off the mobs. I wouldn't have to run away. And I don't have to run away from this guy. I can just kill him. I can just straight out, out DPS him. No problemo. But I want to kill the healer. Because if he has that healer, I won't ever be able to kill him. So, let's see if he comes back at me. I do have low HP. I'm, I am juicy bait. No, he's not going to. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I want to shoot someone in leather armor so I can show you the raw potential damage and escape that this build has. But uh, <laughs> I can't seem to find a good target. I don't know if Bridgewatch is engaging because that's a weird place for their blob to be. It looks like they're pushing back. It, I don't know. I, I can't see a Martlock blob, so... Again, I'm sorry if I'm not giving you the best footage, but this is basically turned into a let's play from a guide. Um, it's more turned into disasters. It, it's really still outside now. It's kind of creeping me out. Where did they go? Where did Bridgewatch go? They just disappeared. Weird. Weird how that happened. I don't know. Let's see if we find another fight. There is, uh, they're pushing Bronze Hill. Uh, nothing going on. Yeah, there's like literally nothing. It's freaking off. It's, it's... <laughs> 12 a.m., 12.40 a.m. UTC in the morning. Um, yeah, so, I, I don't know, man. I just want to show you the build, but just go search Whispering or Whispering Bow on my channel. You can see a lot of really good fights. I just, <laughs> I'm not in a good situation right now to record this. I shouldn't even, I should have left with everyone else <laughs> to shelter. <laughs> Which there's not, I don't even know where shelter is around here. Like, honestly, like, where are people going? Like, the grocery store? Or are they going under a big bridge? What is going on? Okay, that's, that, that's, why is it red if it's bridge watch? I don't understand that. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry that I'm ending this video on a low energy note. I'm kind of shook up at the moment. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, I suppose. Uh, I'm Swole Benji, thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Let me know what you think. 
uh, I'll I'll try to keep you guys updated in the comments what happened or what's currently happening. I don't know. Uh, if I stop suddenly uploading, then uh, ripperoni. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah. So on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click if you found this video fun, informative, or you just want to help me out. Click that join button down below. It's kind of like on the left side below the video. Uh, it's five bucks a month. It's like, you, you know on Twitch when you subscribe to a channel on Twitch, it's like you pay them five bucks a month. Well, on YouTube it's the same thing, but you get access to private, more personal videos. Uh, which are just better guides, ways to make money, and just really good videos that I think are just too damn good for the public. Also, this, this build is really, like, it's really chill for PvE. I can just sit all the way in the back and just shoot at the, um, you know, the, the outpost boss here. No problem. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm helping and contributing. <laughs> uh, contributing during a tornado storm. Oh, man. Uh, I, I've been through some wild tornado storms, okay? Like, there was one time I was driving. I drove through three tornadoes <laughs> on the highway. And, like, it was too dark to see. Uh, but apparently there were three tornadoes, like, on the highway where I was at. <laughs> All the other cars were, like, pulled over to the side of the road. And I'm just driving along. Like, oh, the highway sure is nice and empty tonight. You know, like... <laughs> oh man, and then uh, maybe I just have quantum immortality. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys. Every time I die, I get warped to a world where I didn't die. And so if I'm in a collapsing apartment where a tornado was about to crush me, or whatever, then I just get put into a reality where I evaded death essentially. And this has happened many times in my life. So uh, this is why I'm laughing in the face of danger. <laughs> Every time I, I change, though, like, everything gets a little different. Like, the Fruit of the Loom logo, uh, the Star Wars got a little bit different, the tips, the colors of Pikachu's ears changed. There's always these little different Berenstein and Berenstein bears, you, you know, the Mandel effect stuff. All that stuff just, you know, every time I go somewhere new, it's uh, little, little changes like that. But, um, <laughs> essentially... Who's adding me to friends? Let's stop that. I don't know you. Um... <laughs> Essentially, though, uh, yeah, it, it keeps happening, so maybe I'll run out of dimensions or lives or worlds to travel to one day, and uh, I'll finally be free, I guess. <laughs> free to not have to play Albion online anymore. But anyway, guys, um, I'll see you in the next video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it, and click that video on the right side already. And leave a comment, because I read every comment. Join the Discord. Take care.